What is up guys, today I'll be bringing you guys a Metal Foe Yang Zing combo tutorial. Don't lose your way, your mind, we have to be as a So this was a video I've been wanting to bring you guys for quite some time. Uh, basically, um, showing you guys that the deck does do, Metal Foe Yang Zing is a deck you guys, you know I own, you know I enjoy the deck, and obviously this, you know, it card is your main, you know, win condition or whatnot. However, there are other things this deck can do once you open your mind and kind of see the other options you make. Now this hand is going to assume we are going second. When this deck typically doesn't go second. Let's say just we lose the die roll and this will be our sixth card, this Metal Foe Silver. Why we pick these two Metal Foes, it's actually really relevant to the combo. So we're going to go ahead and, and get into it. So first off, um, we are going to activate one of our Metal Foes in the Pendulum Zone. Then we're going to activate it, and then we are going to normal summon any of our Yang Zings. In this case, it's going to be Suwani. We're going to activate the Metal Foe effect, targeting our Suwani. And we are going to set a Metal Foe spell and trap directly from our deck. In this case, it's going to be Metal Foe's combination, and that is very, very important for our future plays. Um, and then, of course, Suwani is going to trigger special summoning a Jiao Tu from, it, from our deck because it... Um, the Yang Zings that special summon from deck, um, I believe the ones with zero defense, special summon in defense, and the ones with zero attack, special summon in attack mode. So, Jiao is then going to activate its effect. It's going to discard the uh, Beyond and Chai Wind from our hand, and its effect is going to go through. We're going to special summon two Yang Zings. So, we're going to special summon our uh, Zephyranu. That, that, that one's really important for this combo. And then we are going to special summon. We already have a Chai Wind engraved, so we can kind of pick and choose which one we want to use. So we're going to special summon our uh, Bia. Then we are going to synchro summon our. Um, then we're going to synchro summon our Jiao Tu and our uh, Secret for a Boxia. Then uh, Boxia, Boxia is obviously we're going seconds. So Boxia will activate its on summon effect to spin all you know annoying targets our opponent controls. And then Boxy is going to activate its on-field effect, targeting, um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and target um, Bion and then target our Jiao to engrave. We're, or we, we can do a lot of different things here, but in this case, I'm actually going to destroy the Bion and then target the Bion because this is this, this is like just going to make sense in a little bit. So Bion is going to activate its effect special summon from the deck. Then we are going to special summon our, um, in this case, it doesn't entirely matter because we're just at this point, we're just cycling through the deck. So we're gonna we're gonna summon the Beyond in defense mode. And then we are going to activate the Metal Foe Silver. And then Metal Foe Silver is gonna activate its effect targeting our um Beyond our Beyond because I believe we have not activated its oh, we have not activated its effect this turn. Sorry, I was trying to remember which one I used. <laughs> anyway, Beyond's going to activate its and then um, we're gonna set another Metal Foe spells and trap directly from our deck. It's going to be a second combination, and as you guys are seeing, combination is probably one of the most important um, Metal Foe cards in this particular deck. Um, then, Beyond, then Beyond's going to activate its effect to special summon from the deck. So we're going to special summon another Jiao Tu from our deck. It will be in attack mode this time because because it was synch because of the way it, um, because it, uh, Beyond's obviously a big defense has zero attack. Then, then from there we can do we can secret we're going to synchro summon again for our high sp oh these both <laughs> these both good for our high speed roid chanbara now why are we going for this this will make sense in a minute so then we're going to activate the last card in our hand which is storm now if you're unfamiliar with what this card does i'll go ahead and read it to you it says destroy as many sp all spells and trap cards you control then destroy as many spell trap card point controls as possible up to the number of cards you control so this is actually great in this deck because it clears it will clear out for even if your opponent has four spells or this will clear out all their spells or traps, and, and if they have any still set at this point. But even if it doesn't, it's going to pop both your combinations and your cards in scale, which is really relevant for this situation. It's going to put them back in the extra deck. And then, then both our Metal Foe combinations will trigger, which means, um, which in this case, means that we are going to get to search two Metal Foes from our deck. So in this case, it really doesn't matter as long as you search a scale. We're going to search a Full Flame and a Gold River. Then, then we are going to set the Pendulum Scale and Pendulum Summon. Summon. So we're going to Pendulum Summon for three, um, and then we're going to so we're going to special summon our Steel in, in Defense Mode over here, and then we're going to Pendulum Summon these two. So this will be our board. These five monsters. Um, 
From there, um, Secrets Effect will be in defense mode. It will trigger and it will allow us to search a Yang Zing from our deck. So in this case, we're going to be searching. We can search a path, but I believe the better play would be to search Divine Strike because it will set us up just in case we don't OTK our opponent this turn, which you're about to. So because this is a Pendulum Summon monster and Boxy is a level 8, we are going to Synchro Summon again for our Nirvana High Paladin. And because we used a Pendulum Summon Pendulum monster to Pendulum Summon, we can add any um, card from our graveyard to our hand. So here you have a lot of different options you can add, but I would probably just in case add Storm, just in case you, know, you want to use it again. Storm isn't once per turn. So these are our two cards left in hand, are these two cards right here. And then uh, we're going to activate one of the Metal Foes, popping this to the extra deck. Um, you know, kind of like as a just-in-case type thing, because we are about to OTK our opponent. So these are going to be our three cards on board now. So we're going to activate that. We're going to set a counter, strike straight from our deck. And then we are going to attack with our Nirvana High Paladin. If our Nirvana High Paladin runs over a monster, it will half our opponent's life points. So we're going to attack, and their opponent life points will go down. Then Chambara will attack twice for 4,400, and that, and then obviously we still have Silvered. So this is actually a game-ending OTK, these two cards. The way these two cards interact is one of my favorite interactions with Metal Foe Yang Zings, because you can, they say they have a Monarch out, you can smack over the Monarch, half their life points, attack, attack, game. And... Anyway, that comes about to the end of the combo tutorial, guys. Let me know if you would want to see more combo tutorial feud videos in the future. It's definitely something I would like to do more of. So anyway, guys, as always, I thank you guys for watching the video today. I really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. Um, stay tuned soon for more videos in the future.